Hello, here we have a wonderful book on differential equations. It was written by Ford. This is a really old book. It's a second edition published by McGraw-Hill. I'm just going to give it a good whiff here. It just, oh, it smells so good. So I really like this book because, one, it smells really good. It's really old. It's small. It's a good size. It's older. Um, it has answers to a lot of the exercises, as you'll see. So I think it makes it a good good choice for self-study. So yeah, let's open it up and see what we have. Differential equations. 1955 by the McGraw-Hill Book Company, Inc. Wow. Copyright 1933 originally. And there's a preface here. And then it gives you like a short course. Let's take a look at the topics. By the way, the author of this book, let's just make sure we, his name is Lester R. Ford. Let's just make sure we get a good look at this guy. PhD, Professor Emeritus of Mathematics, Illinois Institute of Technology. And this is the second edition. So, um, I mean, it, the first edition was from 33. So it took him a while to change the edition. Here are the contents. Chapter one, introduction to differential equations. So, okay. And then chapter two, special methods for the equation of the first order. All right. Chapter three, linear equations of the second order. Okay, very standard stuff. Most of it is usually. Uh, chapter four is general linear equations. Chapter five, the method of successive approximations. Six is systems of ordinary equations. Seven is certain classical equations. Interpolation and numerical integration. And then we have the numerical solution of differential equations. Cool. And, oh, it smells so good. I can smell it from here. I'm sorry, I just have to, I just have to smell this because it's just intoxicating. Ah, oh, ha, ha, ha. It's just like amazing. Introduction to differential equations. Here we go. So an equation of this form involving a function y of x and certain of its derivatives is called a differential equation. So by the, by the order of a differential equation is meant the order of the highest derivative which appears. And then so we have some differential equations here and it gives you, it gives you their orders. Um, so it goes through and, um, you know, explains differential equations and let's take a look at what's in here first method of solution variables separable yeah that's a separation of variables or separable differential equations rather um, that's one of the first things you study here's some exercises quite a few exercises here quite a few Sometimes in these older books, they'll put the answers like next to the exercises, but I don't see that happening anywhere here on this page. So, unfortunately, but sometimes they do do that. Yeah, no, nowhere, nowhere to be found. <laughs> so, yeah, but you do have, I mean, there's a lot of exercises here and, and they seem to be pretty good. You do have some answers in the back of the book. Let me show you, let's just look again, let's just look. Wow, it smells really good. This copy smells amazing. So you do have some answers in the back of the book, quite a few, and so that's really good. So you, you could use this for self-study. Yeah, I, I like this book. It might not have the you know the easiest explanations. It's kind of old school. It's kind of hard. You saw how it started, like by by the way it defined a differential equation. Like it didn't have to do it that way. Um, it could have defined it using words or some other method, um, but it chose to do it that way. So. Solutions in series. Wow, I was already talking about series. Crazy. One parameter families of curves. Oh yeah, this is cool. Important. N parameter families. Second order solved by first order methods. Hmm. Yeah, this is... And the, the cool thing about this book and, and the contents is that if you were to like... Um, you know, go to college like today and take a course on differential equations. The stuff that you would be doing in your course would be, would be similar to the stuff that's in this book. So you could use this as a supplement. Um, now, there are things in this book that you are definitely not going to be doing in your course. 
And there's probably things in your book that you're definitely not going to be doing in your course. Usually courses cover just small portions of books. Books are way more comprehensive. They have way more material than can be covered in a course because of time, right? Time is an issue. Um, so yeah, time is always an issue. But I will uh, look for this book. If I can find it, I'll leave a link in the description. Also, if you want to learn differential equations, I do have courses on differential equations. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, please use my links either from the description of this video or from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbits.com. I've got courses there on tons of stuff, including differential equations, which is awesome. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.